In this video, we'll be learning about the relationship between the f, f prime, and f double prime graphs. Before we start, we should cover a few vocab terms. A zero is when a curve touches the x-axis. A minimum is when a curve reaches some minimum value. These look like u's on the graph. A maximum, on the other hand, is when a curve reaches some maximum value. These look like hills or upside down u's. Concavity might be new to you, and this refers to the way which the curve is facing. For me, the best way to think about this is that if the bowl is upright, if it looks like this or this, then we know that it's concave up. If the bowl is upside down, if it looks like this or like this, then we know that it's concave down. A point of inflection is the point where the concavity changes. I like to think of this as the middle point between an upside down bowl and an upright bowl. This might look like like this, or it could also look like this. Now that we've covered the vocab, let's take a look at our graph. We'll call the function that we see in red f of x. For this graph, what we're looking for are any extrema, so mins or maxes, and also any points of inflection. If we take a look at the graph, it looks like there's a maximum when x is negative 2. There's a minimum when x is 0. And it also looks like there's a point of inflection when x is, uh, when x is negative 1. Now that we have this information, let's try to map out some information on the f prime graph. Since we're dealing with the derivative, we have to analyze the slopes around the points we found. Let's start with this maximum at x equals negative 2. We can see that to the left, y is increasing, so we know that the slope is positive. To the right, we can see that y is decreasing, so here we know that the slope is negative. We can see that the slope goes from positive to negative, so on the f prime graph, the line will look like this. So we know that at x equals 2, when f has a maximum, f prime will go from positive to negative. We'll do the same thing for the minimum when x equals 0. To the left, y is decreasing, so the slope is negative. To the right, y is increasing, so we know the slope is positive. The slope goes from negative to positive, so we know that on the f prime graph, the line will look like this. So at x equals 0, when there's a minimum, f prime of x will go from negative to positive. Now we need to determine the shape of f double prime. We found that f prime is decreasing to the left of the point of inflection, so we know that the slope of f prime will be negative. To the right, f prime is increasing. So the slope of f prime will be positive. So f double prime at negative 1, it'll be negative here and become positive. So we know that at negative 1, 
when f has a POI and when f prime has a minimum, f double prime will go from negative to positive. The big thing to understand here is that f of x tells us the position, f prime of x tells us the slope, and f double prime of x tells us the concavity.